Hey everyone, LP here, and uh, episode three of Talking with a Socialist. And uh, let's not make that the key, the key thing about this video. I think it's key because I believe we can all still learn from each other. In this video, it was only about serious questions, kind of, kind of clearing, clearing the air about what preparedness really is for the young people. And if you didn't know, this episode is sponsored by Prep Stock, October 12th and the 13th. Nebo, North Carolina. It's going to be a good time, guys. If you want to help out, there's an Amazon link below. No, Carter. It's not my Amazon link. <laughs> it's for all the little things. We're, we're in the red. We check the books and we're in the red. And that's not good if you guys know anything about accounting. So uh, we're, we're asking people to help out with buying like coffee and teas and stirs and cups and things like that uh, for the people who actually do show up. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm going to stick this in every one of the videos. Just got back from filming the intros. Watch the chat. Watch the chat that's on the screen. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, here we go. Like, what's that? What's that shiny thing? But yeah, you know, I get uh, it. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. Um, yeah. Wait. So. No, there was a question about how are you gonna like? I'm probably gonna say this wrong. Like, nom 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 when the internet goes down. Oh, goon. Dude, yeah, yeah, dude. Hey, listen. Hey, I feel educated. I feel educated because it's like it was ironic because I had to look it up. Uh huh. Okay, and I, I th in that, in that, in that genre, I consider myself to be pretty well educated. <laughs> Gooning, okay? yeah, yeah. And I was like, Goon, how's it gonna? You know, and uh, I just wanted to be able to answer it, dude. I got a girlfriend. I don't, I don't need to do that. It <laughs> sounds like lots of fun. I, I got a girlfriend. Yeah. And yeah. 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 That was a that was a pertinent question is how are you going to goon? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Oh my god. Hey, don't let, hold on, let's do another one. Uh let's not forget about uh was it something like how is it like you when you wake up every morning realizing you may have to kill your neighbors? Or yeah, something? that's that's one and that's comes from a direct place of like we saw a lot of these preppers saying that idea, right? Nobody yeah. cuz you were you were not like a big part of my video, like I said. So yeah. people had no, we just, oh, no, no. And, 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 dude, I didn't take any of it personally at all. I just yeah. thought that it was, it was better to, to educate people on pre, like a real preppers mentality. When I say a real prepper, I'm not the original prepper. You know what I'm no, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Somebody who's somebody who we would say is, is not doing fear porn. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, okay. Uh, so the real question. I know there was some in there that was pr pretty deep. Uh huh? What was that? Sorry, you cut out. I said, go and hit, hit me up with a real question because I know some of them in there were pretty deep. Yeah, so somebody said, what's a real, realistic, like, society collapse scenario that you are preparing for? That's a good one. When I got into preparing, and, and man, once again, because, you know, okay, so first and foremost, you should know, you should be able to gather by now that I don't care what your political affiliation is. I care yeah. if you're a prepper or not. Because if you're not a prepper, at some point, if something were to go down, if the SHTF happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. I love my quote fingers because it, it it means so many things. Uh -huh. Okay, um, that uh, you're going to be the person that's going to be on my doorstep, going, "Can you help me?" And now you're taking away from something that I've tried to build for my security, and my family security. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, you know, I had to say that too. And um, what what was the question? But, yeah, sorry. The question was like, what realistic end of the world scenario like are you preparing for? Not end of the world, but you know Dying what I mean, life. like like extreme struggle, maybe globally or the whole country. I gotcha. So when I started, it was all about uh, economic collapse. That's, that's that is uh, one of the preparedness things that's that's one of the things that preppers think about. You know, like uh -huh. some people like, hey, I live close to the close to the uh, hurricane alley. I'm preparing for hurricanes. OK. You know, I live out in the Midwest. I'm preparing for tornadoes, you know, things like that. Uh, mine was uh, economic collapse. It uh -huh. still is to an ex extent. I do follow the markets. I don't really play in the market anymore. I got out of that. Um but uh, mine was uh, economic collapse, and economic the the unfortunately economic collapse is very real. Mm -hmm. But lately, we've been able to manage um, the uh, the the market corrections uh, so that people don't actually notice. And if and if anybody were to actually go look at the numbers, look at the, the at the graphs, yeah, uh, it probably in the last seven seven and a half years, uh, the 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 stock market itself. Uh, if whether it's Nasdaq, whether it's uh, 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 any of the other two, it's little by you have these little bitty corrections going down and down and down and down and down. 
Uh, but and it's funny because people are like, well, the stock market's never been at higher. We hit records. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We were in correction territory. You know, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, his internet died. Your internet died for there a we, second. No, yeah, yeah. It, it's happened two or three times. I just stopped talking. <laughs> But uh, so Google lost 3.2% of its market shares last yeah. week. That's several billion dollars. Yep. All it takes is one of these large companies, ABC company, uh, corporation, Amazon. Uh, I don't I don't think Tesla is that big yet. But okay. any one of these major companies takes it, it takes it in the ass. You know, it's going to have a significant uh, market shift. And once people start to figure out, they panic. And so my thing was preparing for an economic collapse. Yeah. Well, it means having food. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I always tell people to prep on three things, water, food, and security, and in that order. Okay. You know, because you can't you can't live more than three days without water. People have done it, but believe me, yeah. they're not <laughs> the kind of people that you want to hang out with. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> but water, food, and security. Basically, can you drink? Can you eat? And can you can you protect your stuff? Because we are we live in the modern world. We don't have to worry about the roofs over our head for the most part. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we don't even have to worry about sanitation, flushing our toilets, anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So just those three basic things, and that's that's to me that is the biggest that's the biggest one. You know, we talk. Everybody's like World War Three, and yeah, there's some stuff going on over there. You know, there there's some some uh, some geopolitical issues that none of us actually ever get to see or hear about that's going on over there that could sp could spark a world war and technically we're already fighting one we're just doing it either through proxy or through uh economic uh forces okay you know um but uh you know some of that stuff has to keep going you know i heard you talking about ukraine right? and i'm getting off in the left field no here, you're okay yeah keep going i like this yeah ukraine, you know uh, we unfortunately we have to continue doing. We have to continue helping Ukraine. We have to. I agree. Yeah. We're we're in way too deep to just back out. It's not about a betting man's game. Uh, it's about uh, if we don't continue to uh, help Ukraine, then we will eventually end up with American troops on the ground. It will happen. 